Hi, I hope that you've all been paying attention to the brief videos that we've offered, encouraging you to sign up for honest conversations about racism. You might remember that Gerard had the sense to remind us all that as pastor and people, we have to insist that we are all God's children in our community and beyond. And he's right. Joanna suggested that the value of conversation like this is to make sure that none of us feels alone in confronting it. Lavender pointed out the emotional and mental impact that racism has had on her peers in high school. Victor shared about the personal impact racism has had on him and his family. But I wanted you to hear from me as well. Here is why I am convinced with a heartfelt urgency that we need to be engaging in honest conversations about racism that our parish is undertaking during Lent. Lent is a traditional time when we turn away from sin and racism is arguably our most predominant sin. And sin is not just a matter of what we have done, but what we have failed to do. Jesus told the parable of the man who was beset by robbers on the way from Jerusalem to Jericho. Passerbys refused to help and went on their way. Jesus in the story reveals racism between Jews and Samaritans by surprisingly making the Samaritan the hero of the story. Today, we cannot allow ourselves to be passers-by who do nothing or say nothing. Honest conversations about racism is so important for us in this time, in this place, and in this church, that we are dedicating the season of Lent to it. Lent starts with Ash Wednesday. On this day, we are reminded that we are all dust, and unto dust we shall return. No matter how we look, how we speak, from where we came, towards where we believe our life leads, we still find our common origin, for we are all called into life by the almighty word of God. We have been blessed with the breath of a loving God, a creator filled with mercy for all of creation. Please join me for an honest conversation about racism, one child of God to another, one duspect to another. God bless you.